Hello YouTube, I'm showing my table, but right now it's going to be kind of a surprise. So, as you can see, this is the Budgie's Bird Nest, if you guys remember from my previous videos, um, where my Palikita had her babies inside of this nest. So, yesterday I was uh, drying some clothes and I decided to go walk outside in my backyard and there was a bunch of blackbirds who were fighting with uh, robins and I said why and then I looked on like under one of our uh, uh, patio chairs and there was a uh, two robin eggs they're nice and bright blue and one of them was completely crushed and the other one was just a little bit cracked so I said I wanted to take the one that was just a little bit cracked so I couldn't find the lid, so I had to do something like this. But I was had to do this just in case uh, the egg hatches. Um, I don't know. I just put that because I thought that kind of causes heat. Um, there's like this piece of cloth I found, and these are a bunch of feathers from all the birds. Um, and if you look, let me zoom. Brightness and zoom. If I lift this thing up, I think it's under. Yeah, there. Do you see that? Little eggy. But, oh yeah, you can also see the crack. I don't want to move it because uh, when I was moving it recently, liquid kit came out of the hole. So I don't want more liquid coming out of the hole. Kind of makes me feel bad to the birdie. So, can you see that crack? That's all the damage they did. It It's not pretty, it's not really deep. But as you can see, there's like, oh yeah, it's coming out. Liquid's coming out again. That's why you should not even move it. Because the liquid will come out and that worries me. But as you can see, um, I looked at, I looked at the egg under uh, a candle. Or, as I mean, I was candling the egg under a light to see how the egg looks like inside so I could see there's a lot of yolk so I mean that is a very good sign that the the robin could grow again um but the the transparent liquid a little bit came out when I got him and a little bit came out when I was just holding him um and when you looked with the candle you could see that he has a little bit of, a little bit of air inside of his egg. So I remember hearing uh, and watching a chick called Albert. You should subscribe to him. I might put the link in the description, but I already said the name of his channel. Um he has very good uh videos about helping eggs in the wild. So I was trying to follow his example, trying to save this little eggy, but as you can see right now there's a little bit of uh, like liquid that came out right now. And it right there. And I don't like that. It scares me. Not literally. It doesn't scare me. But it worries me. Because I want this egg to survive. I feel bad for the little eggy. I just don't want this boy to die. So put him under, under these feathers. Under that piece of cloth. With this, because I think that will help. I'll tape it down, and then I just breathe into that hole. So that it could, you know, have a little bit of a warm air. There, I don't know. But yeah, I am I also have it here at my window, right beside my Lego stuff. Hoping that this egg will hatch one day. And then I'll feed it his worms and all that. I will take care of this egg. I know. I know. I'm going to get this egg. As you can see, I had this little LED in there. If it works. I think it died. Because uh, I had it all night. All yesterday. Because I wanted it to survive by having some warmth by the light. This does cause some warmth. But not uh, enough. I think I kind of got it there. Oh, do you see that? It does feel warm. There. Anyways, that does cause warmth for my little birdie. I mean, 
please in the description below if you have a great name for this robin when it hatches please uh put a name in the description below i mean in the comments below uh i don't know i think it will be a nice name just call him 